The storm clouds of persecution are forming over the USA, and I predict that it will soon be open season on Bible-believing Christians in America. The propaganda machine is working full-time to demonize us as terrorists. That's the key word, terrorists. The Obama regime has intentionally labeled us that way because they think they can arrest and detain terrorists indefinitely without a trial. Of course, that's in complete violation of the U.S. Constitution, but they are desperate to silence the message because the Bible has the power to completely destroy the liberal agenda. Mikey Weinstein is a man who calls Bible-believing Christians human monsters, and he claims that when a Bible-believing person shares their faith, it is the equivalent of being, quote, spiritually raped by fundamentalist Christian religious predators. People like Mikey Weinstein used to be shunned in polite society, and rightfully so. Nothing good ever comes from such bigotry. So what does Mr. Obama do with such an anti-God hate monger? He puts him in charge of military religious policy. Under the direction of Mikey Weinstein, men and women in the military are now threatened with court-martial if they speak about their Christian faith or if they donate to any evangelical or Tea Party group. Our military is being taught that we are a grave threat and that we are tearing this country apart. When I was in the military, New Testaments were provided free to anyone who wanted one, and homosexuals were prosecuted and kicked out. Man, talk about a total collapse. The Obama administration is trying to mold the military to serve as his political thugs. I believe to do a classic communist style crackdown on Obama's political opponents. So the question is, how strong is our United States Constitution? Answer, it's only as strong as the men and women who uphold it. So listen up, Americans. Choose this day whom you will serve, either Almighty God or secular government. The battle lines are being drawn, and I know which side I'm on. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, Bless God again.